Hi, thanks for joining me. I'm Teresa Crawley at TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. Today I'm going to show you a brand new 2022 Newmar New Air. This is the floor plan 3545. Um, this, the new air was developed so that people that want a higher end coach with all the amenities can have a shorter coach to get into national parks and things like that. And over the years, it's kind of evolved into a little bit longer, but a lot of people wanted the bigger horsepower and the king size bed. So Newmar has integrated that in the last year or two. Um, this is one of those longer coaches. So at the 35, length it's really 35 feet 10 inches ish so um, i'm going to show you how awesome this is it really has everything that you could possibly need in a rocket because this 450 drives great with such a small uh, little coach so first thing beautiful paint job this is a new color this year or excuse me of 2022 so this is the berkeley graphics we also have the berkeley decor inside but i have all the awnings out so you can see these full gerard awnings that are so really just cool um, full length of the bus so we have two awnings here and a window awning or excuse me a patio awning here as well these all have led lighting on them at nighttime it really makes for a great show um, but also you can sit out and watch tv or hang out with a campfire really really nice um, one of the other things is you of course have a keyless entry here that you're going to want to program your own code in just fyi all of these come with the exact same code when you buy it so you're going to want to change that out so that somebody doesn't go door to door in the uh, mobile home or motorhome park uh, just you know getting some coffee out of your coach while you're off we also have a doorbell here um, and that is actually really handy because if somebody tries to knock on your door, you're not going to hear it if you're anywhere past the living room. So really great feature. Um, another thing Numar does that I really love is in the screen door here. You can't see anything right here. And that's because when you're the passenger, it blinds your view a little bit, makes it a little bit less of a cool drive. So they make it so that this is a retractable screen. So when you need a screen, it's handy. But when you don't need a screen, you get a really beautiful view out these windows. All right, I'm not gonna let you come in too far because I want you to see this front area here. So come on into the passenger area here. We have a queen seat here. That means it's an extra wide passenger seat for extra comfort or for extra wideness or for if you wanna have your little dog with you. So it's super comfy, super great place to sit if you're the passenger. We also have every man's dream, which is a navigation screen for the passenger so they can help him know where to go at all times. Navigation's right there, so you can have your partner in crime telling you where to, where to go, when to slow down, when to turn, etc. Come on in. Let's see the beautiful wood in here, the beautiful decor, very modern look on this new air. They've done a really good job of not making these fussy looking beautiful ceilings. So you'll notice that there aren't um, air conditioning uh, vents everywhere, those little plastic round things you see in other coaches. Newmar just doesn't do that. They like to cover them up with a really pretty, um, more residential style look up here. So they are hidden in there and they are um, cleanable and changeable up there, but just very well concealed. You'll also see over here, we have a really good sized sofa and it's very, very comfortable. Um, some of you may know that a lot of the furniture manufacturers, um, one of them went out of business, so they had to change things up and switch manufacturers. So this one is super comfy. Just wanted you to know that it's um, really com comfortable. The ultra leather is very soft. And then you have these little storage ottomans that are optional as well. So two of those, they, they remind me of those dinner rolls you have at Thanksgiving. Put a little butter on there. Um, back here, you'll see one of our touch pads. Um, these are scattered throughout the coach, um, including uh, right above the bed. So you can turn off all of the lights at one time with the push of a button. Um, you can turn all the accent lights on if you want a little more of a nighttime cozy feel, um, but also all the lights on with just the push of one button. These also control your shades. 
So push of a button, I can do all kitchen, living room, day shades, just for a little more privacy. This really helps if you're in a campground or something. You don't want people looking in and seeing what you're doing, but you still get some sunlight. Or you can do all the night shades as well, which is the full darkening. Really, really nice when it's time to go to bed. You don't have to go around and pull on all of these at the same time. So a little bit spoiled in this coach, I have to say. But there's all your night shades. I'm going to put those back up for the, so you can see these awesome windows in here. They did a really great job with these huge windows, more of a bus-like look. And then on here, you'll see the systems. You can turn your water pump here and also your TV lift. So you may not have seen a TV when we came in here, but of course I'm sitting in the comfiest seat in the house and I'm facing where the TV should be if I wanted that. So right now I'm gonna put it up or let's see, if I don't choose to be watching TV, I still have that great window I can take advantage of. So push of the button up and down. Um, of course, you can see that this is where your dining area is as well. Um, you have a table that you can pull out here and there are two additional fold up chairs that match the decor in here, but they're hidden away. We'll see those as we get to the back, but there are also two leaves that are hidden under the bed. So you can fit quite a few people. I would say five people really comfortably here. You can play cards or have dinner. And then this just goes right back very easily. Doesn't put your back out when you're doing it. Um, we also have a sound bar here. And this is where we would store all your audio video equipment if you wanted to get um, a direct TV box, a Blu-ray player, etc. Excuse me for slamming that. And a little bit more storage on the side. Um, I think I pointed out these are storage ottomans, but we have a little bit of storage up, up here as well. I'm not going to bore you by opening everything in here. If you want me to open every cabinet, put it in the comments. I'll do it next time. I just, I think we all know what a cabinet looks like, but I know it is important, especially if you're gonna be a full timer to see exactly how much. Right here, we have a little bit more storage as far as a display cabinet. So if you had anything really pretty that you wanted to bring with you, again, great if you are living in this coach, which a lot of our customers do, at least three months out of the year they're spending in a coach like this. Um, I say often, these are not campers. This is a home. It is built like a home. It has the insulation of a home. It is appointed like a home. And you'll see that more and more as we go through. One of those features is this central vacuum that we have here. So that's a kick plate. You would just sweep to it and it would suck up whatever debris that you had on the floor. We also have a place right here where you can attach hose attachments more like a traditional um, vacuum. And you'll see that kit as we move on through the storage. Um, we don't keep it out here, but um, it's really nice that you can do that at, and not have to bring a big vacuum with you. Um, this is your pant pantry area here. And these two have a little bit of a locking system. As you saw, I pushed in a little bit, but then once they're out, they're full extension. Um, there's also little knots in here so you can adjust the height of these. So if you wanted your cereal boxes to go in this slot, you could move these and adjust them to whatever height that you liked. And it does light up when you open it, which is great. This is another one of those touchscreen panels. So you could turn all the lights on from this area as well. And then this is what really defines the um, luxury line of the Newmark coach is that all of the systems are centralized in one place. So if you wanted to say, change the heat or air conditioner in here, you would just hit the climate button and then you can adjust there. Um, we do have the Oasis hydronic heating system in here. So this is where you would turn on the Oasis. Um, you can set it for day, night. You can also set your generator to auto start at certain temperatures or times. Um, really nice if you have a pet that you have to leave behind. So you can make sure that they're um, safe, they are warm and cozy in here. Um, we also can check our power loads here. 
and our generator turn it on or off or set it for that um, the automatic start like I was saying before you can also check all your tank levels so right now we have you know less than five percent fresh water which really is winterizing fluid in right in right now because we are having freezes at nights here in Colorado um, black is empty thank goodness and gray is empty thank goodness since this is a brand new coach we don't want anything in any of those um, this is where we have our camera system set up so you can actually look outside of your coach while you're hanging out inside. If you hear a noise at night or um, you're not sure what's going on outside, you can check by looking through your camera systems. So that's the back um, and then we have of course side view as well. Um, we also can turn on our block heater here and our floor heat. So we have three zones of floor heat, front, rear, and mid really nice on those crisp mornings to have a nice cold or nice warm floor rather um, and that's about it your power loads etc um, really great to have that all in one centralized location rather than having a bunch of little buttons everywhere um, we've walked into the kitchen area now and of course we have more storage and Numer does this great carpeting here that helps with sound and vibration also helps things not to slide around as easily and then we also have this pull-out, really great for us shorter ladies or people in general to be able to reach stuff. And then we have some manuals up here. I do require that you read every single page of those before I let you buy one of these. Just kidding. Um, right here we have our Samsung convection microwave oven. So you can bake in here. And they do that because, of course, we don't have ovens in these coaches anymore. Um, this is an all-electric coach. There's no propane in here whatsoever, which is great for safety. It's also great for convenience because you don't want to have to stop and fill that up all the time. Numar also does these induction cooktops that go outside. So if you're making something stinky, fish, bacon, etc., take that outside and cook out there and then you can bring your cooktop right back in, clean it off, easy peasy. The other side of these covers have cutting boards integrated in here, so that's really nice too. And for those of you who don't know a lot about induction cooktops, they don't really get hot. They get a little bit hot, I would say, from the transfer of the pot, but they work by a magnetic, they work magnetically. I mean, um, so what they're doing is moving ions around in your pot, quickly to make the heat happen. So the pot isn't really getting fire or heat under it. Um, so that's why you can put these cutting boards on here and they don't melt. It's really, really smart that they do that. A um, little bit more storage here for trash can and your sponges and all of that stuff. There's more manuals for you. I know you're excited. Really nice drawers. So Numar is 60% um, of their workforce is Amish Mennonite. And I don't say that for religious reasons. I'm telling you that because these people take their work very seriously and their craftsmanship is from when they're very, very young. So they work really hard and do a really good job on these cabinets and the other things that they do. A lot of the things in this coach are built in that Indiana area. Um, Newmar is in Napanee, Indiana. But you'll see they just do a really good job. And this down here is a dishwasher, which is optional. Um, but this, this one we ordered in with the dishwasher. It's a little wet in there, I apologize, but that's winterizing fluid again. And if you think that's just silly, I don't need a dishwasher, they make great storage for some of your taller items. So if you don't really need that, it's kind of nice to have it anyway, just so you can put pots and pans in it, but that's up to you. Over here, we have a Samsung residential refrigerator. And it's really a lot deeper than it looks, but then in here we have an ice maker and lots of storage in here as well. On the opposite side, we have your bathroom. Now this coach has one bathroom. It is pretty good size for this size of a coach, um, but they did some great things in here. Uh, a lighted vanity mirror or medicine cabinet. 
and as much room as you could possibly put in there they did so it actually goes back a little bit to either side there's also a plug in there if you wanted to put your you know razor charger or whatever there's place for that and then another one here we have places to hang our towels and robes a little bit of counter space and oops sorry about that more storage here and here like I said, I won't spend too much time on this, but I do know that you need to see some of it, um, especially in the bathroom. It makes a lot of difference. And there's, of course, plugins all over the place. This is one of my favorite things Numar does, though. This is your emergency exit door. So if there was an emergency, say a fire or something, and you can't get out the front, most motorhomes have a little bitty window that you're supposed to get through and get your dog through and get your elderly mother through. It's not it doesn't make sense and it's not safe. So on this one, we have an emergency exit door. Very easy to get out. And I can show you when we go outside that it's really not that far of a drop, but you also have a ladder in here. So I'll pull that off so you can see. There's a drop down ladder right there. You just un unbutton that and, and pull it down and it'll drop down to the ground. So very safe, very smart. Also great if you needed to say, throw your garbage out. Um, over here we have this beautiful shower, this, this real tile in here. And I've been to the Napanee factory and seen these workers get on their knees and actually lay each of these tiles before. Um, these are all laid by hand. Then of course uh, we added this little seat from Numar, of course, but it is an option. So that's really nice if you needed to shave your legs or if you just needed to sit down while showering. We also have an emergency, or excuse me, a handle in here. So for those of us who are maybe not as strong as we used to be, really great to be able to hold on there. Then we have, of course, the rain shower head and the other shower head, the normal shower head that you can move around. But one thing that Numar does that's also really, really smart is this little thing down here. It's a water miser system. So what it does is you can set the temperature to say, you know, this, this much up and it'll know when it gets to that heat and then it, the light will come on and say, okay, now we're ready to let the water come out. That way you're not putting cold water down the drain and wasting all your water. Um, those of you who motor home know water and power are some of the most important things you can have in a coach. So to just let it go down the, the drain when you're waiting for it to heat up is really foolish, but they didn't have a way to bypass that until now. So really great little system there. We of course have an exhaust fan in here. We also have one in the kitchen that I failed to point out, but we do need those exhaust fans here and there. Um, I think we're ready to move into the bedroom area. I'm gonna show you the really nice door. They do a really great job on these, make them very beautiful. This one also has some padding on it, which I think would help with sound and things like that if you're trying to sleep. And then come on back into this bedroom. As I was saying earlier, we added a couple feet, or Numar added a couple feet to the new air, and that enabled us to have, instead of a queen size bed, a king size bed which is a really big deal for a lot of people. If you're not used to sleeping in a queen bed, it kind of is hard after a lot of years to adjust to that. So this just makes it a lot more like home. Um, the really nice mattresses they give you here. They do give the option of a sleep number mattress. This one just doesn't have it, but some people prefer this one. It's really cushy. And then of course we have some storage under here. And that's where those extra Leafs are for the dining table that I was telling you about earlier. But you'll notice that these have shocks. It was really easy for me to lift this up, really easy to get into, and it's also really easy to put down. So one more thing I wanted to show you. On the side of the bed, we do have a little bit of a counter, but Numar has made it so you can actually put a sleep apnea machine up here on both sides. There's a place for your tubing to go through right here. So if you need to sleep with a 
sleep apnea thing, it's really frustrating to try to find a way for that machine to come with you, but they've made a way for you. And there's one over there as well. The other thing I wanted to show you is that right above you when you're in bed, you have a control for all your lights and you also have a control for your shades. So like I said, when it's bedtime, push a button and you can go to sleep. Now, when I first saw this new window, I'm gonna turn the light back on. When I first saw this new window above the bed, I thought, well, where's the shade? How are you gonna sleep with that light? Well, they tucked it way up here. So I didn't see it until I actually pushed the button, but it's really nice that they did that. And you, of course, have those day shades as well that don't completely darken it. But I just wanted you to see that that was there. And in case you're wondering if this is glowing at you all night, you can also turn that off or just dampen the brightness by pushing a button there, too. They thought of that. So, all right. Now I'm going to show you the wardrobe. It does light up when you open it, like I just showed you. There's a safe in here and your extra chairs for your dining area are right in there as well. And of course, you can put those wherever you want. This is just where they put them when they deliver them to us. Then I'm gonna show you the other side so you can see there's little cubby shoe storage for you. Some of this stuff, it's just access to your washer and dryer and then there's your breakers in there as well. And then your washer dryer is tucked right in here. Really, really nice to have a washer and dryer separated rather than an all-in-one unit. They're a lot more efficient and you can actually stop in the middle of the cycle, whereas it's harder to do that on the all-in-one units. Um, a little bit more storage here. Of course, we've got some dresser drawers that come out all the way and a really nice flat screen TV in here. All right, I think we're ready to go outside. We can see all the amenities that are outside. Oh, before we do that, let's look at the cab. All right, so I already showed you how awesome the passenger seat is for the queen bee driving along. Okay, so I had it turned off just for sound. So I'm gonna show you, this is a push button start. If you're push, if you, if you're having a hard time getting that started, just as a tip, putting this really close and starting it seems to really help. You can hear I got my foot on that air brake. <laughs> so these are six-way power seats. They are heated as well, and they both turn around to make your living area more more places to sit. Um, and then we have this new Freightliner glass dash. You'll notice that the shifter is right here. So there's no turning your head away to find drive or manual or whatever it is you're trying to find. It used to be on a big panel right here and you would have to glance away for a moment, which isn't you know, as safe as having it right here. Right here you have, I hope you can see this, but drive, neutral, reverse, and then your engine brake on off. Um, you can also put it in manual or automatic, which normally you don't really need to mess with that. Um, but some people like to have a little bit more control. So that's why that's there. Um, you'll also notice I have a tire pressure warning going on right now. The fact that we have a tire pressure monitor at all is really great. Um, but you don't have to look at that all the time. There are other um, screens that you can have yourself look at. So let's take a look at that. I'm going to hit home. And right now it's going to show me my trip, my gauges. So you can change that all around. You might want to take a peek at that, but here, we'll move around on there. Barometric pressure, press OK to change the gauge. So if you wanted to look at something different, you can do that. We're going to go back and look at fuel economy, which is about six to 10, depending on your conditions and how heavy you are, et cetera, if you're towing. We're gonna go back. Tire pressure, you do have one tire that's low. And that's something that um, 
a lot of people don't tell you, but the Freightliner custom chassis people that come out here and help us um, often remind us to, once we sell the coach, that you, the customer, need to go and get each tire weighed um, individually and adjust that tire pressure accordingly. It will make your ride so much smoother. Um, generally, when a manufacturer drives a coach to us, they have the tires at full, full capacity, and then that's because it helps on um, gas mileage. It helps on savings, but it does not make the ride better by any means. So a lot of people say, oh, this thing rides so rough. Well, once they change their tire pressure, totally different situation. So I highly recommend that you go do that. Um, even before every trip, it's not very expensive and it will make your ride so much nicer. And it might show you that you need to redistribute some weight um, as far as how you packed your basement as well. So enough about that. Um, Road Watch is here. So we have cruise control. We have a mobile eye system that's gonna warn you if you're too close to the person in front of you. Quit tailgating, high beams, etc. This is telling me check the fob and that's because I have it a little bit further away than it likes it. You can always just put it in one of these little storage things down here, but it's really not an emergency if it can't detect the fob while you're driving. It's more so when, you, um, when you're trying to start it. Okay. So keep going here, lane departure warning. So that of course is if you're drifting, so it's gonna have high sensitivity, low sensitivity or disabled. And that's for when you just have no tolerance for alarms and things like that when you're driving. Um, that's totally up to you if you appreciate that or not. I think when, when you're driving and you're a little bit tired, it's probably good to have at least some on, but um, again, up to you. Speed limit indicator. Yeah, anyway, this keeps going on and there's all kinds of different things you can change on here, the color and the way the gauges look, etc. But there are some really important things that are good to see. Um, I'm gonna go back here. I want you to see one more thing that's pretty important, the vehicle configuration. So there's Bluetooth, new fob pairing, unit standard steering effort is one of the best things ever invented and it's a new more exclusive thing what that is is your comfort drive steering you may have heard that name before and what that's doing is keeping you straight on the road so it'll notice if you're doing this because it's super windy i'm pulling here what is that doing to my body it's making me super tired it makes me not want to drive all day um, it's just a lot harder and a lot more labor intensive. So what it notices is that I'm doing this to the steering wheel and it'll take over and go right back here and then I won't even feel that it's windy anymore. It's absolutely the most amazing thing. Um, here at TransWest, we get trade-ins of all different brands. So I, as a salesperson, have to drive those different things to move them around the lot or to do whatever with them, take them to customers to show them, etc. Nothing drives like a Newmar because of that feature. And the other thing that that feature does is helps you back into a parking place, no problem whatsoever. So how backing in works, I've got these great cameras, I get to where I wanna be, I stop, put my brake on, put it in reverse, which is over here now. This steering wheel takes itself right here and backs dead straight into that spot. So super, super easy to park these. I think these are easier to park than even my vans that I have, little bitty 20 foot vans. I can park this straighter than I can that just because of all of this, the steering effort, the camera systems, all of that going on here. Love, love, love that feature. Um, the other thing about that is of course, it's adjustable. So if I like a really tight steering wheel or it's super windy or whatever you can turn it up and it'll get tighter and tighter you can also turn it down and it'll be really loose i mean talking you can drive this with a pinky so super great feature love steering effort we're going to go back to home i'm sure you've heard enough about that me getting all excited about the steering effort but it is really really nice 
Over here, we of course have your HWH computerized leveling. That is push a button, auto level, all of those jacks are gonna go down and level you out. When it's time to go home, auto store, and then you're gonna be, it'll say travel mode and you're safe to go. Now, sometimes when these coaches are aired up, meaning ready to go, ready to drive, our airbags are inflated all the way. Um, it's hard for some people to get into the stairs here because they can be lifted pretty high. So that's what the manual dump helps with. It lowers the coach while you're parked. And I, I know you can't feel it in, in YouTube world, but I can feel the coach is dropping down. And that'll just make it easier to get in and out of the bus. Um, over here we have heated and powered side view mirrors. That's what those do. Heat, um, automatic traction control override. This is your toll window control. So you don't have to get out if you have to pay a toll, really handy. Another thing while we're here, I want you to see this. So if there was something that went awry while you were on a trip, no matter where you are, you can call the New Air Newmar brand specialist. Now this guy, Michael Hale, only deals with New Air and he knows them inside and out. He can help you troubleshoot. He can also help you find a service center. Really, really great to have that support. Freightliner, this one is built on a Freightliner. This is a 24 seven uh, help line. And these guys are technicians that were pulled out of the shop and now you can call them anytime, truly anytime. So they can help you again, troubleshoot, help you fix something if that's the problem or send you to a local service center and help you facilitate all of that. Um, these things also help if there's something truly broken, they're gonna help start you with your warranty, um, ordering parts, etc. So they can really help you get a head start so your trip isn't completely ruined by waiting for parts for two weeks or whatever the case may be. Really great. Love that Numar has our backs, Freightliner has our backs. They're so great to us. Um, over here, fog lights, house, and a battery boost chassis. What that button does is say your chassis battery was getting really low, you couldn't get it to start. You can pull from your house batteries by holding down there and then you can get yourself started. Then once the engine is running, you're gonna be recharging those house batteries right away anyway. Dome lights just for here, a little place for your phone. This is your parking brake of course and your light controls. Over here, this is how you handle your phone so of course you're going to want to talk on the phone while you're driving without holding your phone right <laughs> don't do that please um, we also have your cruise control set up here and your thank you lights those are basically um, say thank you for letting me in or go ahead and get in front of me etc so um, over here we have your camera controls that i was telling you about this is your camera view so right now we're looking at the back of the bus so say you had a tow vehicle you wanted to make sure your jeep is still there you can keep that on at all times or just peek at it occasionally you also have side view cameras which we have slides out right now so that's what you're seeing is the slide out but um, when you're driving that's really really handy to see if somebody's trying to pass you or even when you're parked to see if there's a child nearby that you just can't see normally we of course have other things here, navigation and radio, Sirius XM access, HDMI, Bluetooth, etc. Basic modern uh, radio functions here. Um, here we have your side visors that can come down while you're driving. So again, you're not looking away from the road, but if the sun is just beating on you, you can put these visors down. Oh, my radio just turned on, sorry. I'll, I'll mute that. And then you have your full darkening shade, which is this one up front. Now it's not gonna go down all the way while you're driving because that's a safety issue, but it will help with you know, uh, the sun beating in your eyes. Um, we have docking lights, overhead fans, and these are not, um, they're not visible fans. On um, some of the cheaper, I guess I could say, brands will have a metal fan right there. Newmar just doesn't like the aesthetic of that. They think it looks junky. So they integrate those up there. It basically works as a defrost function, but if you're hot, it also helps circulate that air this way as well. And it has a high, medium, low. Um, 
Then we have a generator start here, which there's several places to start your generator, but it's nice to have it there. Um, entry lock and unlock your air horn. That's your air horn. If you turn it off, then you get, you get a Toyota horn. <laughs> Not really, but anyway, courtesy lights and a visor for your passenger over there. So that's the basics here. I'm gonna put the slides in so that um, we can look at the outside a little more, bit more easily, but also so that you can see that you have a good amount of walk space when we're closed up. So I'll start back here in the bedroom. Thanks for being patient while I'm doing this. It really does make a difference when you're outside. You wouldn't want me uh, hitting my head and passing out during the video, right? I might get more hits that way. <laughs> okay, now we can go to the front and do the front too. I'm sure there are other places we could put these ottomans, but to me this is just convenient because that's where they're going to go when they're done anyway. So, okay, driver's side is coming in. One thing when you're bringing in your driver's side slide, if you don't know this already, it's really smart to have your hand on this front seat or just be very aware of it because if it's too far back, you're going to tear the fabric here. You might mess up the alignment of this. I've also seen this stuff all come off. And if this was a less sturdy slide mechanism, it could also break your slide. I'm not worried about it at all on this coach because we've got a really serious, strong um, slide mechanism. Okay. So I just turned the engine off, but I want you to see how much room there is to walk around. I mean, I have a ton of room to get through this kitchen area. So really important. Can I make a sandwich? Yes. Can I get to the refrigerator? It's tight, but absolutely. I sure can. I can get in here all the way, actually. Really nice. And the bathroom, it's completely open. So I absolutely can come back here and use this while in travel mode make a sandwich, get back on that bed and take a nap. All of those things are possible because I can get through here really easily. All right, we're gonna go outside. Now this is where it gets technical. So I'm sure I mentioned before, we're on a Freightliner chassis. We've got a 450 horsepower Cummins engine. Um, more than adequate for this size of a coach. It's going to be awesome. We also have um, the optional stainless steel trim and stainless steel baggage handles on this coach. Um, and just so you know, this coach is available for sale right now. You could come and get it in Colorado here. Um, this is a programmable fridge freezer on a slide out tray. So you can decide what temperature you want it to be. Really nice little little thing there for outside if you want to have your drinks out here or whatever. Tiny slide out tray, but I love this because how else are you going to get to the stuff way back there? Every little bit counts in these motorhomes. So I love that this has three slide out trays. Here's another one. This one's much bigger. And it's really easy to do, saves your back. I'm about to lose my microwave, or my microwave, my microphone pack, so I just had to adjust that, sorry. This out here is your TV. And of course we have a sound bar here as well. Um, this is a Bose sound bar, and it is, um, you can switch it to your dash radio or your TV. And then this does pull out. So if you wanted to 
you know, watch it while you're sitting under that awning, you've got that choice. Um, let's see here. So this one has kind of a funny opening, but so that this one opens, you know, like a an accordion door or a window door. But anyway, that's what it looks like all open. They did include some extra tiles. Your vacuum hoses and things are in that bag right there that I was telling you about. And there is actually a place in the basement that you can hook that up so you can vacuum these doors down here. Really nice to have that. This one's just a little bay, but they are trying to use every bit of space they can. You of course have a little plug in there. Oh, this one is locked. So that one is where your deaf fluid is gonna go. This does require deaf. And if you're wondering about how often you have to fill your deaf, it's about once every three tank fill-ups. But you've got a huge diesel tank here. You don't have a very big deaf tank, so it's really not that big of a deal. Um, your deaf tank, I think it's 15 gallons on this one. I could be wrong, but it's real close. And you'll only have to fill it up every few times. So it's not that big of an expense. Um, if you're worried about that. These are just your engine batteries and then your chassis disconnect. So you're not drawing power from those batteries. Back here, you're gonna get a really nice view of the paint colors. The sun's just on here perfectly. But you can see the backup camera there. You can also see that we have access to this engine. So the radiator is on the side of this coach, which is gonna save you a lot of time and service. Oh. And, and enable you to get to your fluids and filters and things like that very, very easily. Um, sorry, I'm trying to get this open. It's getting sticky for me. Yeah, we're gonna have to pass on that today. Sorry about that, guys. This has a 10,000 pound towing hitch. We've also got a connector there. and your airline already ready for you, so you're not gonna have to get that extra expense when you need to talk. Over here, this is your side radiator that I was speaking of. Let's see if we can get the DEF open on this side. Here we go. So there's your DEF actual tank. Then over here, we've got this really great stainless steel water bay. That's really gonna help over time because it's not gonna be fading. So I, I see used coaches come in and these are all worn off, so you don't know what's what, but that's not gonna happen on here. We do have a whole house water filter. We have a power rewind water hose. So really easy to use. Talked about this a million times. When it's muddy and yucky out, messing with these, especially when they're cold and crunchy, is really a pain. So to have a power rewind cord is really nice. I also like that they've got the gray and black drain is actually outside of the compartment. This is just more hygienic in my opinion. And then this over here is a macerator. So it's, look it up online. I don't really want to talk about it. <laughs> or we'll just say poop blender. Um, <laughs> Over here, this is that Oasis continuous hot water or tankless hot water system. That is gonna provide a moist heat to the coach as your furnace system. It's also gonna be hot water. So as much water as you have, it can be hot thanks to that system. Really nice to have that. You don't have to wait for the next guy to take a shower, wait for 45 minutes for it to warm up again. This is gonna be instant for you. We also have that power rewind. 50 amp cord and this is going to be 50 feet long too if you're curious and then right here is that vacuum system i was telling you about so you can put the hose down here and vacuum your bays um, this is also where you're going to dump and um, clean out the filter here is another tray and this one's just little bitty, but again, every little bit of space on these really matters. And look how far this comes out. That's crazy. But the reason they do that is because when your slide out's out, you're gonna bump your head on that if you're trying to get into this stuff. 
So, we're smart. That's your 3000 watt inverter back there and just a little bit of access to your um, HDMI and things like that. I forgot to mention this does have a Wi-Fi um, booster as well as a satellite dish on it. Um, if you want more information on that, I can give you that. Um, I'll give you my email in just a moment. That's uh, six AGM batteries there. They are on a slide out tray, but they also are locked so they don't move around. And here we have your diesel fill. You might have seen there's another one on the other side, so you can fill both at the same time. Big time saver at the pump. All right, so in here, that I was just popping the hood so you could see the generator. We have an 8,000 Cummins Onan diesel generator in here. So more than adequate to power an all-electric coach. So for those of you who don't know, these videos are live. That's why there's some hiccups in here and I may have forgotten some information. Um, so if I have forgotten anything that you're curious about, please give me a call or email me, teresa.crawley at transwest.com. Um, leaving comments on the YouTube or Facebook, I don't always see them. So if you can call me or email me, that would be super great. Thank you so much for watching this with me and being patient with me. Um, I hope that I'll get to see you and give you a test drive out here on this awesome new air. Thank you.